we also discussed hypo in previous lecture hypo means below the normal level okay uh, in in case of epispadias the abnormality of the problem present above to the normal level okay epispadias is a congenital malformation in which the opening of the urethra is on the dorsum of the penis in boys with epispadias the urethra generally opens on the top or side of the penis rather than the tip however it is possible for the urethra to be open along the entire length of the penis in girls the opening is usually between the clitoris and the labia but may be in the belly area you know hypospadias only present in boys but uh, epispadias present in both the gender incidence in case of boys the epispadias one newborn out of 117000 in boys and in case of girls one girl affected out of 484000 girls newborn girls causes as unknown related to improper development of the pubic bone actually it is it happened at the time of embryologic development and that time if the pubic bone not properly developed that time this condition occur failures of abdominal and pelvic fusion in the first months of embryogenesis and epispadias associated with bladder atrophy and uncommon birth defect in which the bladder is inside out as you know and sticks through the abdominal wall also occur with other defects classification classification of epispadias is based on the location of the meters the penis it can be positioned on the glands or along the shaft of the penis near the pubic bone then the position of the meters is important because it predicts the degree to which the bladder can store urine the closer the meters is to base of the penis the more likely to bl bladder will not hold urine and the child or newborn suffering from incontinence of urine symptoms in case of male abnormal opening from the joint between the pubic bones to the area above the tip of the penis backward flow of urine into the kidney and short widened penis with an abnormal curvature urinary tract infections and widened pubic bone in case of females abnormal clitoris and labia abnormal opening where the from the bladder neck to the area above the normal urethral opening backward flow of urine into the kidney widened pubic bone urinary incontinence urinary tract infection diagnostic measures prenatal diagnosis is rare and blood test to check electrolyte levels intravenous pyelogram special x ray of the kidney bladder and ureters mri and ct scans also investigated in this pelvic x ray and ultrasonography then surgical techniques in male the modified cantwell cantwell technique it involves partial disassembly disassembly of the penis and placement of the urethra in the more near to the normal more normal position treatment the primary goal of treatment of epispadias are maximize penile length and function by correcting dorsal bend and cordy the main focus of the surgeon or the care of the medical professional take this abnormality near to normal create functionality and cosmetically accepted acceptable external genitalia with as few surgical procedures as possible it looks like after the surgery it looks like near to the normal if the bladder and bladder neck are also involved surgical treatment is required to establish urinary incontinence and preserve fertility the second technique is the mitchell technique it involves complete disassembly of the penis into its three separate components following it disassembly the three components are reassembled such that the urethra is in the most functional and normal position and dorsal cordy is corrected then surgical technique in females the urethra and vagina may be short and near the front of the body and the clitoris is in two parts if diagnosed at birth the two parts of the clitoris can be brought together and the urethra can be placed into the normal position if repaired early enough 
lack of urinary control may not be a problem then if the diagnosis is missed if if this condition is not properly diagnosed by the doctors at the time or if early repair is not performed then incontinence can be surgically corrected at the time of diagnosis and after that when diagnosed with epispadias that time the incontinence of urine surgically corrected if the vaginal opening is narrow in older girls or younger women reconstruction can be performed after puberty it is all about uh, epispadias if you feel any kind of difficulty kindly inform me i feel very happy to help you thank you very much